The ceiling is in the way, the walls are in the way, I cannot edit this, but it turns out there are three ways to fix this. My problem is I have two views, at the bottom I have a preview, at the top I want to edit, but when I hide things at the top, like this, I don't want them to disappear at the bottom. That is the big problem, because otherwise you can simply use hide, no problem about that. Which you do by pressing the eye icon in the outliner, or by clicking on the object and pressing H, and Alt H to unhide. The first actual solution is rather simple, if you have a simple scene. In this case I have a box and I want to, well, film inside of it, but I don't want to see it when I'm editing from the outside. I actually used this solution recently before I knew the other two. Just select the object, go to the material properties, select its material, best go to the shading tab, I'm gonna go to preview and zoom out so we would have to look from outside the box, and we just have to manipulate the shader a little. Just add search geometry, add search mix shader over here, and add search transparent BSDF down here. The transparent goes into the other shader, and geometry back facing goes right into factor. Now from the outside this doesn't work yet, from the inside we cannot see the walls anymore, but to fix this we simply click the object, go to edit mode, and while everything is selected, simply press A to select everything, go to mesh, normals, and flip. And of course we have to go back to the material and set blend mode to alpha clip. There we are, we can see the inside but not the outside, and I actually use this. The only downside of this is it's a bit hard to click through. Every first click is going to be selecting the box. But you can fix this simply by adding a filter, selectable, and removing this from the box. Disable selection. So this is a way to fix this, but for more complex stuff or scenes where you don't want to mess with the materials, let's look at the other two. Here we are back in the normal scene with a more complex outside. And what I want to get rid of is this mesh and also this mesh, so I can freely edit. Let me just Alt H to unhide them. So it turns out there is a fantastic little feature. Let's select the armature and go to View, Local View, Toggle Local View, which has the shortcut numpad slash. Okay, so now we just have the armature, not exactly what we wanted. Let's undo that, but not by Control Z, but rather by going to View, Local View and Toggle Local View again. To see the armature and the rest of the model, we would have to right-click the armature, select Hierarchy, and now go to View, Local View, Toggle Local View, and now we only see this, in this view. Again, if we press Numpad Slash, we go back to seeing everything. So how about we select everything and then just remove the things we don't want? Simply select All, and then hold Shift, and click twice on the meshes you don't want to see. In the 3D view, it's really annoying to do this. I would rather just hold down Control and click on the objects twice that I don't want selected. And that is the wall and the classroom original. And now with these two deselected we can go to view, local view, toggle local view. And this pretty much solves it, doesn't it? It definitely does. However, switching between these two view modes where you see everything and don't see everything is somewhat cumbersome. Let me press numpad slash and numpad slash again. It doesn't do anything. Every time I want this view, I have to select only those things that I want to see and edit. So there's a better way, actually. For this, we need to use collections. Create a new collection, let's call it block, and put in it, by simply clicking and dragging, every mesh that is in your way in this scene, but not in this scene. Okay, here we are. I call it block. And now simply press N. This opens this view. By default it shows you item, but if you go to view and then go down until you see collections, click local collections and hide block. Or whatever you name the collection that contains the objects that you don't want to see when editing. And as you can see, it's still all there because you selected local collections. If you don't select local collections and click on the eye, then it disappears everywhere. 
so make sure to click local collections and you can press N to hide it again or click this little icon there and it's really easy to switch. Press N to show it, hit the checkbox and hit the checkbox again and you're back in this mode. So you don't have to select all the things you want to see and deselect the things you don't want to see every time. This is much more comfortable. And this is the drop-in replacement for the layers method seen in previous versions of Blender. So I hope this helps you. It certainly helps me a lot. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Let me know in the comments if this blew your mind. It did blow my mind when I first realized how easy it is. I expected it to be so many steps actually, or having to wait for the next version of Blender. Please enjoy editing your models. Until next time, ciao!